Hi, my name is Joe Chiani. I'm founder of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. This is a year that we have momentum. And this is a year that with the help of the family, with the help of the patients, we can really help save lives. So please focus on saving one life and together, hopefully we can save three million lives. My name is Dr. Carol Peden. I'm an expert in patient safety and quality. So I think for me, the message for 2024 is communication in patient safety, spreading the message around the US and globally about this still remains a very, very important part of healthcare. And internally in healthcare, how can we do better? So I'd like to invite you to meet with us because the Patient Safety Movement Foundation is a group of organizations and individuals coming together and create the momentum to maintain focus on improving patient safety. Our next meeting is in September 2024, so please come and work with us on this important issue for patients. My name is Dan Cole. I'm an anesthesiologist at UCLA and I serve as president of the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation for 2024 it would be a better engagement of the patient. The patient needs a louder voice in healthcare. After all, uh, healthcare is supposedly uh, centered around them, and we need to amplify their voice in the governance and delivery of healthcare, not only, but also get them to tell their story. The other one that comes to mind, I think, is uh, our workforce, our healthcare workforce. I think we want to make sure as the uh, the demographics of uh, the United States uh, changes, that we have a competent and a quality and a quantitative workforce that can meet uh, the needs uh, of the uh, patient. Hi, I'm Joe Carmichael, the Chief Medical Officer at UC Irvine Health. You know, as a surgeon, uh, patient safety is always, uh, it's, it's just been front and center for me. It's, it's very personal, um, and I think for all surgeons and uh, related to our outcomes with our patients. You know, as healthcare providers, healthcare administrators, we have to acknowledge that we're in a human system and human systems are un unfortunately prone to error. We, we can never be perfect. What we can do is minimize or even eliminate the harm involved with the errors that we can make as human beings. I would encourage uh, folks listening to consider participating in things like the patient safety movement uh, annual meeting uh, that's coming up this September to discuss these issues uh, with leaders in the area and consider how we can uh, continue our pursuit to zero harm. I think one of the most important things that we can do in 2024 is to improve our understanding about what our safety events are. Right now we use a number of different disparate systems that have input into what our safety problems are but there are many events that are not captured in our hospitals today, and we don't have reliable systems to be able to assess, are we better today than we were last year or two years ago? We don't know. If you look globally, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation is probably the preeminent private organization working on patient safety. And I think in a lot of ways has stepped in where some of the public programs uh, stepped back from, from patient safety. A lot has been done, but we haven't had as much uh, impact as we should have. And so the goals of zero patient harm, I think, are incredibly important in terms of keeping the nation, but also internationally, since obviously I care about patient safety on the global uh, sphere. Uh, keeping the focus on, on patient safety is going to be incredibly important with those types of goals. There's a lot of promise in new technologies that's going to allow for better patient monitoring, better diagnosis, uh, and uh, better engagement of patients in, the, in their own care. And I think coupling those types of uh, strategic and policy statements with uh, some of the possibilities of this new technology, I think it's got to be the way that we're going to be able to make an impact even when we have shrinking resources to do it. It goes back to what Hippocrates said thousands of years ago, which is first to no harm. So if we can first do no harm to anyone who walks in, we will get to zero. I hope to see you all at the September World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit. We have wonderful speakers who are coming. We have wonderful updates to provide you. 
and it's a chance for all of us to recharge, reconnect, and make the commitment for the next year.